What is up guys? Today is the day I think a lot of us are expecting Shivana, which is super exciting stuff. Let's go see what's updated for us. Oh, let's have a geese, shall we? Let's have a geese. Let's go. Fire wow. And fury burn. Why do they make it look so much epic the than the others? Four mana, three, four, as we saw. Attack, give me plus one, plus one this round. I've seen dragon allies deal 12 plus damage to Flipper. Rage okay. To get out. Tell me more. Shivana leaps into battle. Fighting tooth and claw. Break them. She doesn't actually have the fury keyword. She might get it when she flips so. A challenge lies ahead of us. This time, we'll be ready for Who's it. that? When I'm summoned, if you behold a dragon rally, six mana three five. So comparing it to rally, this is a three mana three five. Sort of. And the best defense is offense. Knowledge. Suffer my fury. I think a 12 damage is just anywhere or on anything. So I guess he can't just ignore the dragons anymore. <laughs> now I take to the sky. Pardon me. Let's go. Behold my, my true form. Oh. For my 4 5 fury attack, give me plus 2, plus 2 this round, and create a fleeting strafing strike in hand. Now Shivana takes flight with fire and fury. What the hell was that? Strafing strike, an ally and an enemy strike each other. Then if the ally is a dragon, heal it. Hmm. From the skies. Powerful stuff guys. With Shivana in your deck. Dragons dominate the battle. Powerful mid-range stuff. Powerful mid-range stuff. <laughs> A tussle between dragons. Right, so there you have it. Shivana has indeed yo been revealed and she looks super pog. Four mana three four, and then when she attacks, she gets the plus one plus one. So she has a fantastic stat line. And most of the time you'll get that attack value. Obviously on the defense, she's not as powerful, but you don't have to block with her. Your opponent might have challenges, but yeah, still a very reasonable stat line to work with in a mid range environment. And then as she flips, she becomes a four five, which is actually super insane. And then attack, give me plus two, plus two this round and create a fleeting strafing strike in hand. The strafing strike is a an ally and an enemy strike each other than if the ally is a dragon, heal it, plus, uh, heal it two. So this is a fast speed spell. So you'll, you'll have to attack and then get the strafing strike, which kind of punishes your opponent for forcing them to block, right? Because then you, you, then you get the uh, opportunity to actually use the strafing strike. That's some insane generation of value. You'll get it as you attack with Shivana. It just becomes very snowballing and it's quite powerful. I can already see Shivana making a fantastic mid-range deck. So Shivana's champion signature spell confront, grant an ally challenger, and that's pretty much it, but at burst speed. So it's quite expensive for what it does, but it is at burst speed. It kind of uh, doesn't seem that good actually when we compare it to the other Damasian card. But it is, oh, okay, so it is Grant, right? So it's a permanent challenger, Grant. Okay, fair enough. Still probably not the most insane champion spell, but it kind of balances Shivana out since she already does seem quite powerful. And let's look, uh, have a look at the rest of the new cards here. We have the Eclipse Dragon. Another Daybreak card, let's go. Daybreak, the next dragon or celestial unit you play costs two less. Nightfall, what? So that that's that's cool. 
So this is in between Nightfall and Daybreak. But if you Nightfall it out, you create a random Dragon Follower and Celestial Follower in hand. Eclipse Dragon seems super cool. I don't know if I put it into like my Poggy mid-range Shivana deck necessarily. Maybe I first I'll experiment with it, but wow. Eclipse Dragon just seems wild. And we can, you know, fit it into our Daybreak decks or alternatively our Nightfall decks. However, with the Daybreak, it's more focused on the Dragon and Celestial synergy. And with the Nightfall, it's kind of a bit more flexible. I can see this maybe going into Nightfall decks as like a weird tech. Because you get a bit, bunch of value from it. Super pod card. I love Eclipse Dragon. This card seems nutty. And then we have Cardren Cardragon <laughs> the Infernal. A 9 mana 9 6 dragon. When I'm summoned, grant other dragon allies everywhere. Plus 2, plus 2. Take note here, it is, is a summon effect, right? So if you have ways of cheating this out, then you can get that bonus. Uh, it's pretty late into the game, so I don't I don't really know if you like want to play this card, right? It's an epic, so it's most likely going to be a bit funny. I don't know about the infernal card here. I think uh Shivana can end games quicker, right? Still very interesting. It's in the Damasian region, but I think it might be just a bit too late. I think you could probably end the games a lot faster with Shivana, honestly. Uh, Infernal probably seems a bit too expensive, but the effect is quite powerful. I'll think of ways to cheat it out because you can play as we saw here. There's ways of reducing the cost of dragons. But yeah, I think I probably wouldn't play this in my dragon deck. Then we obviously obviously have the dragon guard lookout. When I'm summoned, if you behold a dragon rally, I think that's a pretty playable card. I mean, if you curve out and then slap this down on turn six, you're getting some pretty good value. And you're most likely always going to behold a dragon. Like always, it's gonna be on the field or in your hand. And if you're losing the board, you're losing the game. So this is like a win more card, but I think with the way dragons work and fury, you won't have a hard time having a sticky board. So you'll probably play a couple of these in your mid-range dragon deck. A fantastic card, fantastic. I'm really curious about the Eclipse Dragon and what we can make do with it. As we saw, next Dragon or Celestial Union you play costs two less. It might be playable even in your slower mid-range deck. But we will see. Yeah, lots of generation for Dragons. Lots of really good curve plays. We still don't have like any true cheap dragons like nothing we can play on turn one turn two but we do have like those cards that do synergize with dragons like Herald of the dragons and the challenger unit we saw but yeah no super cheap dragons otherwise that might be a little bit crazy shivana seems really insane i think we're going to be able to build powerful decks with her and in the current meta shivana could kind of answer those pesky aggro to mid-range decks and this kind of becomes a bit of the a uh, power creeped deck Definitely nice seeing some synergy with Shivana and Dragons. I can't wait to experiment with her. And yeah, she's definitely going to shake up the metagame. But I'll leave that with you guys. What do you think? Are you super excited about Shivana? This is the last reveal, the last big reveal. And yeah, ready to shake up the metagame and have a good time. Have a fantastic day. See you soon.